<laughs> choking. Like the human revolution. <laughs> Seek to slow the re We made it. In many meanings of the phrase, uh, it's Friday. It's Friday night. We got a weekend ahead of us. Um, and we also made it to stream. If that makes any sense. I'm not quite sure why Continue always shows this scene. It's always been interesting to me. Um, I'm going to say it's straight... Straight from the top. If you're watching live or archived, um, and you don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, where I've been documenting this, um, I have joined the rest of my fellow millennials in experiencing White Claw. Hey, this what's up? Uh, Man, you're right on time, right at the start. Uh, good to see you. Um, and man, I, 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 I took my first sip and I was like, okay. I wanted to be very cynical about White Claw. I wanted to be so cynical. And after a couple sips, I have to say, I've had Instagram for a while. I've had Instagram for a while. I put slightly different stuff on there than uh, than Twitter, but it's still my really dumb sense of humor in general. So, no, it's not beer. It's uh, that uh, it's what do they call it? Hard, hard, sparkling water. I know they use a different term for it. I think they hard seltzer water. It's like hard seltzer water. It is very much like, all right, like I said, I wanted to be very cynical and I know it's been a thing now for a few months where it's gotten really popular. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. And it's like the value proposition is there because you're essentially just drinking alcoholic sparkling water. And so <laughs> as you're drinking, you're also in a very, how do I put it? You're, you're hydrating yourself just as fast as you're dehydrating yourself with alcohol. And so the value proposition is, you know what? Cut out the middleman of drinking alcohol and then trying to make sure you're doing good and also drinking water so you don't feel like shit the next morning. And you're just like, I will just do them both from the same step. Also, uh, as I went and I was checking it out at the grocery store when I was picking up the grocery store, the cashier, I was trying to think of that word, cashier, she was telling me, oh yeah, she knows a ton of people that drink it because it's like keto friendly. Again, another very, uh, something I don't do. I don't, I'm not like a keto, I'm not on a keto diet or anything, but I also understand that. If you're like, I want to drink and I'm on the keto diet, there you go, white claws. It's your option. Like I said, I wanted to be cynical about it, and I wanted to take a sip and be like, this is shit. But no, I get it. It's it's essentially alcoholic LaCroix. So if you drink LaCroix, LaCroix. <laughs> if you drink LaCroix, LaCroix. <laughs> Why is that difficult to say all of a sudden? LaCroix, if you drink LaCroix, you're gonna be familiar with what White Claw is giving you. Where it's like, sparkling water with just this smallest hint of flavor and oh yeah it has alcohol in it but that's enough about <laughs> oh <laughs> I don't drink LaCroix either I've I've had it a couple times and I'm like it's not eh, I'll just drink water I don't want slightly flavored <laughs> shitty sparkling water 
Uh, I wasn't on last night. Promised I'd be on tonight. I did catch up on a bunch of archives and stuff and did all that stuff and uh, also just read a bunch last night. Took a slight break from games, but we're gonna be back on tonight. And I think, let me check these saves here. I think we can finish this game tonight. Ah, Detective Rivers, I see you've beaten us here. Oh, wow, we're jumping right in. I think I saved right before the dialogue started. Yeah, I think, I think we'll be able to finish this. At most, I think there's about two hours left of this if we're going off of like my research on howlongtobeat.com great resource um it might be a bit shorter I don't think it would be longer than two more hours and then we might uh we might play something else after depending on how long that is but um I feel like we should be able to finish this and then we'll go from there. Wanted to get the lay of the land before anybody else showed up. When are we ready to head in? It'll be nice to finally finish this game, cross it off the list. Get ready for October. We're waiting for one other person and then I need to get our distraction going. It'll be interesting because this game, I finish it, I think this is going to be end up being part, like part 10 and I, I swear, like, I probably started streaming this game. <laughs> probably at the top of this year, maybe. And there was, like, a long gap where I just was not playing it. And so there was just, like, this long gap. So it's really Speaking a short game. <laughs> ah, Mr. Decker, precisely. All the buddies coming. Detective Rivers, allow me to introduce you to... I know who he is. Leon Decker, ex-Marine, served in North Korea. Record heavily redacted. Ooh. And working for Yannick Fairlight, who I'm sure is willing to help us out of the kindness of his heart, yeah? Hoping audio and everything is all right. <clears throat> me at a disadvantage, miss. Oh, Decker, so suave. Though, let's drop the pretenses, hmm? I've never made a secret of Yannick's goals. He needs Parallax melted down a little for him to get his chair back, and they need to stop some dangerous software. Ha! And I'm sure that's all your cards laid out on the table, huh? You're all on the same side. Simple as that. I don't trust him. I gotta roll with my friend. I Last part, we had to have this dialogue with Decker, and this whole time... He was just feeding us whatever lines. So I was like, I don't trust him or Fairlight. That whole that whole side, that whole faction. You sure you want to no work good. with this guy, Turing? No. I don't like the look of him. <clears throat> I don't. You've got good eyes, Detective. They're new. <clears throat> yes, Detective Rivers. I believe Mr. Decker will prove invaluable on this mission. Statistically, we're an entire 17% more likely to succeed with his expertise. 17%? Play it your way. Great. What's the plan, little guy? Tomcat and I have been unable to find the precise schematics of these storm drains, as they underwent some modifications when Parallax began construction here. But the city's primary power and communication lines still run parallel along them, for maintenance purposes. The server center is certain to be set adjacent to the tunnel complex to allow easier connection. If we make our way through the drains, we should be able to exit at least close to the new server building. Oh, we're going through sewer. That will get us past the worst of the exterior alarms and defenses of the complex. They don't have security alarms in the storm drains? Well, they probably do, but it's unlikely they're in good repair. The water level rises frequently, and maintenance is usually only handled during the dry season in the middle of summer. 
The moving water should give an enormous amount of false positives. Sounds dangerous. We'll have to move quickly since the rains upstream will cause erratic surges in the water levels. <laughs> we have to move quickly or else we'll drown. What about the server building? Do we have plans for it? Any info on the guard rotations? Construction on that finished only last year. It's state-of-the-art and currently services the primary ROM control and distribution network. Based on what we've learned, I'm assuming it was built primarily to give Big Blue enough power to sift through all of the data on the network. That's the AI, right? Right. The entire facility is automated. Security, maintenance, even new construction, all run by ROMs. There might be a single human engineer on site to take care of anything the ROMs can't figure out, but we shouldn't have to worry about any intervention. But we'll take them out. We'll kill them. At least, not immediately. No. Nope. I think we can handle some robots. Assuming Leon is as good of a shot as the blank marks in his file suggest. Zing! Lexi just got him. Let's hope we don't have to find out, ma'am. Once we make our way to the primary server control core, I can link myself into the network and Tomcat can work their magic. That's all we have to do. <laughs> That's an awful lot of question marks before the prophet. But, but we'll figure it out. Anything you'd like to add? Austin. Oh, let's see. Uh, what do we do right now? How are we getting out? Oh yes. Do we have a backup plan? If worst comes to worst, Tomcat should be able to damage the servers in some way. We won't be able to stop Parallax completely, but it should slow them down. It might even buy us some time to escape, since they'll be too busy trying to keep the racks from melting down. Uh, how are we getting out? I'll buy us some time, one way or another. At the very least, we should be able to bluff our way out with my badge. Mm. There'll be hell to pay later, but we'll make it out with our hides intact. Mm. You can just pretend I'm the bad guy and slap some cuffs on me. Yannick can get me out of holding if I need it. Mm. A sound plan, Mr. Decker. Yeah, I won't have to pretend much for that. Damn, she hates them. Uh, sure, what do we do if we run into someone? That's what the stunners are for. They'll do bad things to a wrong, but it'll only discombobulate a human. Discombobulate? Trust me, I doubt anyone's died from a good discombobulation. <laughs> Not I still don't trust least. him. Alright, that covers it. Let's do this. Excellent. Let me call Oliver and put our distraction in motion. After that, I'll call Jess. Oh yeah, Jess. Mm. Turing, we're in position. Are you ready? Tell him I'm sick of standing around staring at these losers' faces. Damn. Shut up, Chad. I can't hear the phone. We're ready when you are, Oliver. Go ahead and let Chad All of our do trust. his thing. Everything's built up to this one moment, and we've got Oliver and Chad, the bumblefucks, just doing their thing. Okay. We'll try to buy you as much time as we can. Chad, we're on. Hell yes! You ready to do this? Let's bust some skulls! Sorry! He gets overexcited sometimes! <laughs> Come get some! Ah! Someone just hit me with a bottle! Yeah. Oops! Gotta go! Wow! Did you see the arm on that fox girl? So awesome! What? Fox girl. Uh, <coughs> okay. <laughs> Same. 
Hello, Jess. Oh, hell yeah, Jess. Holy shit. Did the robot really just call me? How did you even get my personal line? Uh... Uh... You know what? Never mind. One more thing to have my tech guy handle. After these CTV cameras, I'll mysteriously lose connection to the mesh. Jess, we're calling to... I know why you're calling. Sorry, I really can't talk right now. I'm in the middle of inciting a riot and putting my friends in danger. Let's get this going, people. Go show those revolution scum who the real future of humanity is. Yeah. Good to hear you have things in hand. Jess is my favorite, but she hates me. It's a very one-sided relationship. But hopefully by the end of the game, she understands that I don't suck. Oh yeah, all under control. Pass on my love. In case I didn't say it before, I, I believe in you. Yes! Yes, Jess! We're making grounds. <laughs> it's been a, it's this whole game having to tiptoe around Jess just so she doesn't hate me. <laughs> it's paying off. Prick. Fuck! <laughs> Well, some progress. Hey, Claire! See if you can nail that blue mohawk dish again. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Jess. We're good to go. Let's hurry. All right, let's see what we're doing here. What is this? Okay, that's the lid. That's probably where we're heading. All right, I don't trust Decker as far as I could throw him. The lamp towers atop the entrance to the underground tunnel, powered by two cables clamped to its head as if it were a vintage car battery. Oh, dang, a shrub. Use shrub. Is a good shrubbery, but a dense one with hidden thorny bits. Oh no. Really? You don't think this bush has to deal with enough junk already? Oh, that's not gonna be it. Hey. Let's talk to Lexi. Well, howdy, partner. What? No. Ooh, that last option seems. Bad too. Uh, got one last lecture in you? Don't joke. Doing this is risky. Really risky. It goes against every protocol, completely violates everything I was taught to do. But you know what? After going through all of this with you, now that it's personal, I'm glad that I stuck around. Hell yeah. I appreciate you letting me do my job and follow orders, even when it stung. And maybe you were right in the end. I'm always right. Maybe everything I was taught is just bullshit. Maybe everything I was taught is just bullshit. Uh, well, mm, cops just, you know, as an institution kind of suck. I always joke I'm too much of a cowboy for the police force. But I guess I really am, after all. It, sh she's got a great story, like... She knows the Force sucks. But she's like, maybe I can try to change it from the outs- or from the inside. And I respect that. Uh, what's your... So what does this mean for your career? I've been thinking I could take off. Quit the force outright. Find another way. I need to be able to use my talent to actually help people. 
I'll figure it out. Let's go ahead and move on. Ready to go? Only somewhat ready. All right, I'm giving Decker one last chance to win me over. I always feel at home on Treasure Island. The green reminds me of the farm in spring. What's on your mind, Leon? It's been a long time since I've been on a mission. You know, when you're a soldier and you come home, you can't just turn off what you learned. Being back in action, something just switches on. Even after years of civilian life. It's hard to explain. The air feels right. Feel comfortable. Hmm. Not usually something I have the time to value. Too busy to really enjoy the moment. Too dangerous. Getting out here on a mission, right at this time of day when the air feels... just like this. Well, that's everything. That's home. You know, you really aren't what I expected. Oh, he's trying to butter me up. Decker, I want to like you, but you constantly are so sketch. When Fairlight first took a liking to you, I thought you'd be another one of his yuppies. I'm glad I was wrong. Are you sure you're ready for this? You don't have to worry about me. You've got too many things on your docket as it is. I'm just the sidekick. This story is about you and Turing. I only need to be a blip in your tail. Just let me fill my role and I'll be happy. You won't even know I'm there. <laughs> um, but I want you to remember one thing. Put what you believe in to the test. Keep fighting. Hmm. Talk to Lid. This leads to an underground tunnel. Not a speakeasy. No passwords needed. Okay. Lid is mechanical and it refuses to allow you to open it. Won't budge. I should have expected this to be blockaded, based on what I know of their issues with people making camp in the tunnels. Luckily, yours truly was designed and created by a high-ranking official Parallax employee. Who was very close friends with another high-ranking official Parallax employee. Whose access badge we now possess. Go ahead. Aha. Uh, a parallax badge. You swipe Vincent's parallax badge against the lid's security panel and it flashes an affirmation. Dope. Go down into the tunnel entrance. Okay, it's time. We'll call Tomcat once we get inside, assuming we find a way in, and they'll lead us into the system. Let's go. It's better lit in here than I expected. The city replaced all of the lighting in areas like this with low power, high durability LEDs a few years ago. Actually cut down on Vagrant setting up camp in the tunnels and drowning when the rains came through. Whoa. <laughs> Either that or they could just see better enough to know when to clear out. Maybe. Speaking of that, we should move quickly. The waters are likely to rise soon. Not high enough to be dangerous, but oh, I no. don't float well. This is going to be another puzzle thing. I can handle being submerged, but I can't swim. Keep an eye out for one of those maps they leave out for the maintenance crew. 
might be printed on the wall or maybe a terminal if someone was willing to waste that much money. Okay, everyone. Let's keep moving. Forward, turn right. All right, move forward. Go. It's going to be a terrible maze, isn't it? an information terminal well hey oh huh. now we know what the city spends its credits on let's see where we are and plan out our path then yep use okay but where am I heading I... This is going to be one of those things that makes me feel really dumb, isn't it? Uh, I mean, I could, okay, I'll back out, and it's basically just... I'll back out, I'll take the, if I'm facing it, the left, go down on the map, don't take the first left, but take the second left and see what that little indent is. What is this? The sign is orange, so it just means caution, not warning. Okay. Facing left. Go straight. Be careful, everyone. The water is starting to deepen. I'm I'm trying. We need to get going. If the water rises too much more, we're gonna get washed out of here. I'm gonna get fucked. Oh, Turing no. will probably be okay, but the rest of us need to breathe. Most of it. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna die in the tunnels. Because I can't read a very ambiguous map. Uh you use dead end son. Oh there <laughs> yeah, no pressure. Uh, you reach out your palm and high-five the sign. Oh, God. Okay, well. Okay, so then I... I've got a bad... And then go left? We've gone the wrong way. Let's find a map and try to reroute. Of course. Okay, so... Uh, the water is rising higher! S stop Stop jabbering. And keep your stunners above the water. We can't risk them getting shorted out. Fuck. Okay, go. New plan. Take that. No, I'm a, only slightly turned around in my head. Take that. I took the right. So now I'd want to go back. Give me the map. Okay. If I'm facing that way, forward. Just press forward. Go on. We're taking a long way around. Oh, it's another. Yeah, okay. I think. Sign. Warning don't drown. Sage advice. This water is getting mighty high. Fuck off, dude. We have to get to an exit. Now. If it just kills me here, it's not like this game gave, gave me many <laughs> chances to fail. Okay, yeah. So take this. And then, no, no, don't rise. Take this. Turn back. The flow is surging. Hold on. Fuck. I got something in my mouth. Really? Well, that was fun. Everyone's still breathing. I think so. The water level has fallen again, but we're back at the entrance. 
<laughs> the water level has fallen again, but we're back to the entrance. You know what that means? Going back in to solve that maze. I just have to walk it again. Okay, let's start moving. Did I miss something that was supposed to tell me where in the okay, actual... it's time. We'll call Tomcat once we get inside, assuming we find a way in, and they'll lead us into the system. Let's go. Can I just not be the navigator? I don't think, okay. I don't think going forward does anything. Or if it is, it's not doing much. Or I can just keep hitting turn around and just keep getting the same image for some reason. Be careful, everyone. The water is starting to deepen. Yeah, I'm familiar. Give me the map. Here it is. This is the ladder we're looking for. Are you fucking kidding me? The square thing I thought was the panel for the map was literally the exit. And I had gotten there somehow mysteriously the first time with no map. Remind me to pass on this part of the mission next time. I'd rather I don't deal with know. your sister being mad at me. The main server building is just up there. Let's hurry before someone notices us. Those I don't kids get it. probably can't keep that riot up much longer. Unless I'm probably every time I was hitting back and forward earlier, that I probably was actually solving the puzzle and it just the the image wasn't really changing much so it's probably just confusing me but i digress uh probably can't keep up with the riot yep let's go hmm. i think i know where we are parallax filed this building's plans with the city for regulation and although they're clearly incomplete these hallways have been mapped out rather well it's a straight shot to the server core from here, more or less. We've got activity. Looks like something's moving up ahead. Uh oh. The building security VI must have noticed us. Gotta take them out. We'll have to make it past those ROMs without getting ourselves caught. No problem. We've all got stunners, and we'll make those bots fry. Well, is there another way? We don't have to destroy them completely, do we? Mm. Not to put too fine a point on it, Turing, but they're not like you. They're just plastic and programming. Puppets. But they won't always be, not for much longer. Lexi, Decker, the truth is, we're planning to replace Big Blue with my original source code. Once we do that, we'll have the power to make every ROM a sapient individual. Just like me. We aren't shutting down Big Blue. We're changing it. I know it seems like splitting hairs, but it seems wrong to destroy them when we come here to give them life. Mm. Deserve it. <sighs> Morality question. Oh, fine. Here. Give me that stunner. Right? Uh, done. I've changed the settings on it to give a lower yield with a more lengthy pulse. It should disrupt them long enough for us to get past and won't do any permanent damage to any systems that can't be repaired. Does that assuage your bleeding heart? Damn. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Decker. <laughs> no problem. We can't all be soldiers. <laughs> Decker and I will keep our stunners at default settings so we can handle any humans that might show up. That low-powered pulse would just piss most people off, but wouldn't stop them. 
<laughs> You'll have to take care of the shooting for now. Lead the way. We're almost there. I'm gonna have to do something, aren't I? Uh, forward. Oh shit! Oh look, and that's a Malcolm Junior model. A robot they friend. They perform basic maintenance duties mostly. They're cute too. Wait a second. Th th they're shooting at us. Fuck! Take it down. Gotcha. That. Got him. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Easy clap Got there. More of them. <laughs> Very cute robot. Oh fuck! Clack 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 clack. Oh, that's why they call me Sure Shot Austin. Oh no! That's oh fuck! A, full scale Malcolm. a big one. A full scale Malcolm. Bam, bam. Oh my god. Nothing can stop me, man. I got this janky shooting system on lock. We can't let them stop us. We've come too far. Let's finish this. Oh shit. There's a bunch of them. Let's go. Huh. 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 Ow. What? I didn't get a chance. Are you okay? No. You need to be more careful. That bot nearly took you out. I was clicking as fast as I could. Have another go at it. It's not like we're in a hurry or anything. Okay, I don't need your sass right now. Sass master. There's literally so many enemies. Get out of here. Oh, my health. I have a health bar. What am I getting shot at? E what? He was off screen. Are you okay? No. You need to be more careful. That bot nearly took you out. Have another go at it. It's not like we're in a hurry or anything. I hate you so much. All right. Take him back. That bug was off screen. What was I supposed to do? That's the last of them. Great. The door to the server core should be just past this maintenance tunnel, not too far from our current position. There probably won't be any more security once we get there. Too much risk in damaging the equipment that supports the racks. Hey, you two. At this point, I think Lexi and I should hang back and guard the entrance. In case more security shows up. The alarm has been tripped, so backup is bound to arrive sooner rather than later. Good idea. Neither of us know any of the technical stuff. We can hold our own against Christmas Eve level security. Yeah, we'd be useless down there. <laughs> that works. We'll move as fast as we can then. Be careful, you two. Good luck up ahead. We'll catch up soon. Let's go. Forward march. This should be the last hurdle before reaching Big Blue. Austin. If the configuration ahead doesn't match the available floor plans for this section of the building. The path is blocked off. We can't go any further in this direction. Hold on for a moment. I'm going to tap into the maintenance mesh and see if I can find a way to open up this path. Mm -hmm. Got it. We should be able to move around freely enough using this. Do you mind opening the door in front of us? What? Opening the... Door in front of us. Let's head in. What? That was strange. None of 
this is detailed in the public floor plans for the building. The mainframe seems to have been moved up a floor. Perhaps they installed extra heat exchangers in preparation for Big Blue going online. Oh, a call from... Things seem to be going swimmingly over there. Uh-oh. Well, this is terrifying. Uh, Lex, are you okay? It, that seems like a resounding no. Oh no, I've lost Lexi's transmission. She sounded so distressed. What could have happened? Uh. Ah, I can't reach her! All of this equipment's interference, combined with being underground, is deflecting most of the transmissions I would otherwise have the ability to receive. <laughs> it's going swimmingly. Um, oh no, don't make me choose this. Oh fuck, dude. Oh shit. Uh... Uh... <laughs> uh... I can't. I can't just leave her. Oh, no. Uh... I feel like I'm going to get fucked for choosing this option, but we have to go back I and agree. check on her. <laughs> so. Perhaps we should hide first, though. If security got to her and Decker, they could be headed here next. If someone comes, we can hide amongst the heat exchangers until they pass. We'll just take a moment to assess the situation. Yes, the let's noise take some moments. The climate control should mask our presence. I'll switch to quiet mode on my interface for the duration. Oh, that's, that's an interesting sound effect there. Uh, okay, lead the way. This way. Someone's coming. Hide! This is too... This is too spooky! I'm too spooked. Turing? Are you there? Huh? I need help. Who? No? Hello? What is- Come out! Come out! It's like a shitty creepy pasta. Wherever you are. Whoa! No! 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 I I will I will not have this! <laughs> I can't! If he turned on Lexi, I'm gonna be very upset. If my hunches were right this whole time, despite the game's attempt at trying to make me trust this man, I'm going to be upset. Surprise! Fuck you! I'm pissed on a Friday. And here, I was thinking I would get the drop on the two of them. And we could do this the easy way. I'm so upset. I cannot... <laughs> I literally did everything I could in this game to not trust this man. And I was... Oh, uh, well. At least I try. Oh, it's also... This is very creepy and unsettling. 
guess that cop warned you I was coming. Oh, no. God. She's got a hell of a set of peepers on her, huh? Must have cost a pretty penny to let her see through my combat cloak. Seriously, I was not wrong. Go back and watch the archives. Ever since the introduction of this man, I said he gave off the air of untrustworthiness. And now she's gone and hid, and I can't seem to find her to finish her off. Oh well. I'll just have to rip the augments out of her on my way out. They'll make a nice souvenir. Yikes. I'm honestly surprised my gear is still grind with how old some of my parts are. I could use it. <laughs> oh. Decker is a combat android? Kind of makes sense, Turing. I know, what a pity. And then you decide to change our little plan here tonight. And now I have to clean up your mess before you make a bigger one. And I won't lie, I'm going to enjoy every minute of this. I'm not usually one for grand speeches. I'm so upset. A combat android can only fill out paperwork for so many years before you begin to get thirsty. Before you begin to get thirsty. Oh. Theatrics are fun, but I like to get straight to the bloodshed. You know? So let's do this the hard way. No. I like the hard way. Don't say that. I love the hard way. Don't repeat yourself. Lucky for you, your cop friend fried my cloaking emitter with her stunner before she ran off. But really, that's better. See, now you have hope you can win. I can't wait to watch it drain from your eyes as I wear your entrails like a scarf. Let's make it even better. To your advantage, there's a lot of electromagnetic radiation noise and weird thermal currents in this room. It actually makes things almost fair. <laughs> almost. And now? Now the fun begins. I have the hiccups, which is only making this ten times worse. So here's how this is going to work. No. On my turn, I'm going to tell you a story. Oh god, this is so unsettling. This is not the tonal shift I was expecting for the conclusion to this game. I'm going to tell you every minuscule detail about how I've stalked you this entire time. Ah. I've been ahead of you. Every step of the way. No, you can't say that. I didn't trust you from the beginning. On your turn, you're going to run. Maybe high. Uh, perhaps a little of both. <laughs> I'm so upset. Doesn't matter. Player's choice. Lucky you. Just keep in mind. If I manage to scare you, or piss you off really bad... You've already scared me. I might me. be able to hear you breathing deeper. Oh, no! Your heartbeat is like sonar to me. The louder it pounds, the faster I race to stop it. This is... This is one... This, this is a, a thing that would give me nightmares. Heck, I might even be able to smell you if the currents in the air are just right. So that's the game. 
Won't this be fun? No. This is bad. What do we do? We can't fight him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is bad. It's an understatement. Wait, we have the. No, he messed with our zapper. We can't take him with these settings, and there's no time for me to figure out how to revert it. Oh, fuck, he fucked our zapper. Shit, he is clever. God. Oh, God. We're dumb. We also don't have much firepower left. We only have the charge left for four stun level shots, at most. Turing. We really did ourselves bad here. It'll have to be enough. We only have four shots? Well, let me see. The interface I'm using allows me to control whether these surrounding server columns are active or not. If I close off some nodes, it should at least slow his movement and disorient him. It won't stop him outright, but... I can focus on tracking Decker's location using this, and you just tell me where to block off his path so we can try to navigate him away from us. Oh my god, this is gonna be something that I'm... Okay, I can focus on tracking Decker's location using this, and you just tell me where to block off his path so we can try and navigate him away from us. Don't try to trap him. He might get more angry. Just tap him to avoid us until we think up some sort of solution okay if he finds us be ready to shoot no uh, uh. ready or not here I come you take the lead no pick where to close first then let's get moving close all right keep him away from us go away Okay, turn right, or, yeah, go right. Oh, this is, okay, interesting. So let's see, where do I start? No. I suppose the old man is a good enough place as any. I didn't trust Fairlight either. He honestly thinks he's some kind of modern Machiavelli. But to be frank, he hasn't been on much of a winning streak lately. Parallax used him as a scapegoat for that big ROM database hack back in 54. They even got him to resign as CTO just to powder their own noses. And as soon as he did, they stabbed him in the back and voted him off the board the very next day. Even I'll admit, that's cold. Since then, he's been licking his wounds. Waiting for the chance to get revenge, to get back where he feels he belongs. I dug through dirt for years with him, looking for a way to blackmail Parallax so that he could make his way back into the Elite. The music and sound effects also do a very good job of uh, creating this uh, unsettling. So imagine our surprise when one of our informants inside Scene. Parallax tells us of this brand new Big Blue project. The perfect opportunity. But we had to act immediately. And then you walk in right through the front door of Hayden. The only person with the ability to take advantage of Big Blue. Who's just mysteriously gone missing. I was going to dump your body in the bay, but Fairlight figured it might pay off if we give you a little lead, and waited to see what you could track down. Find us another way. And boy, did it ever. Okay, let's move. Uh, okay. Uh, I need to block him from getting... Can't let him just come towards us. Boop. And, uh, boop. 
I think we can go forward then at that point. This is actually really scary. Oh, so yeah, he's blocked off well now. I suppose I should tell you how impressive Hayden's little creation is. Oh, except he's dead, so uh, I guess it doesn't matter. But without you, we wouldn't have our path to Big Blue, the gold mine. Of course, Fairlight would prefer to not tank Parallax stock to the shitter, but this is too good of an opportunity to pass up. As soon as I'm done playing with you two, I'm going to trash this entire server complex. That'll wreck tomorrow's launch, but only temporarily. Let's move! Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Thinking, thinking. Um... He's pretty... If I close that behind him and close this, then he can only really go straight at that point. Oh, I didn't check where I'm supposed to go. I think going left, though, is fine. What? What was that? Ah! No! Oh fuck! Oh shit! That scared the shit out of me. Run before he recovers. What? What? What do you mean? Why could he do that? That bought us some time, but only a bit. Keep moving. You literally just broke the rules. Ah. Uh. What was that? Oh. Did you know? I wasn't even planning to kill you until a few minutes ago, when Turing just had to spill the beans on your idea of turning all Rob sapient. Oh God, my heart. I had no idea this game was going to turn into like this weird <laughs> horror type thing where my baby ass gets easily startled by things like that. Oh god. Oh. That can't happen. Big Blue relies on ROMs being easy to control and patch. Your plan is a little more permanent. Fairlight needs a way back in, but he wants that power. I only have three more shots left. By the time Big Blue is ready to come back online, Fairlight will be back in control, and it'll launch under his administration. With Big Blue, he'll have access to every ROM on the planet, and that's what he's always been after. Let's move! Well, now I feel like Can I close these after he's fucked them over? I open that up. Oh, I, yeah, I just can't do anything, so. And it also warned me that I can't just trap him or he'd be pissed. Is that what happened here? Did I actually trap him somehow? Unknowingly and then that's what this was? Maybe? Okay. Well, okay, so if I open it up and let him a path out, I'm still pretty safe from him. Like, I have a clear path of just kind of walking for a bit, so. Um, I'll go ahead and let him out. Jesus. And hey, I'm getting what I want too. Why don't you show yourself and I'll tell you what it is. 
I'm thinking. Don't let him get to you. That's a big old trap. Okay. Okay. We. I need to. Uh. Ooh. Oh yes. Ooh yes. Okay. Open this up. Close that. And then he's forced to go this way, unless he does that bullshit that he did earlier. And I can turn. I should start actually heading back. Could extend my sincerest personal thanks to the two of you. No. Fairlight has a discretionary policy for the way I handle these problems. Just haven't been that many opportunities to indulge in my hobby, and he pays well enough that I restrain myself. Plausible deniability and all that. Remember? Flower went to all this trouble to make me the best murderer in the world. And I've spent years fetching papers. PAPERS! That's like using a gun as a shovel. You could do it, but there are simply better tools. Thankfully, following you two has let me stop digging and start burying. I haven't had this much fun in years. Oh, that laugh. Fairlight has been very generous indeed. Not that he asked for this, but I assume I won't be out buying a box of tissues to dry his tears. You and that cop lady are the only two loose threads left. Maybe sympathy for good measure. Oh, that reminds me. You should have seen your faces when I ran over that scumbag parts dealer right in front of you. Oh. Ah, there's no one in the car. <laughs> that was him. Priceless. I had to do that gossip rag prick Nova by sabotage. Too risky doing it in person. Could get caught on camera. So he's the one who'd killed all these people. And that makes a lot more sense now. <sighs> Luckily, anchors are good at sinking. And then that Zin. She had the scoop of the century. <laughs> had. Did you see how neat I did that blogger, though? It's been several days since I offed him. While you were busy sniffing for Hayden, Shotaro was way ahead of you on Baby Blue. I have to thank you for that, too. Keeping the lid on Baby Blue was my greatest accomplishment in this entire play. We had to protect Parallax a little while before we could take them out. Timing was everything. I'm not happy. If not, Baby Blue became not feeling the great. Breadcrumbs would lead straight to Big Blue, and it would no longer be possible to launch today or any time. Exactly in the same way Hayden publishing his creation of Turing would have ruined everything for Parallax. Why they took him out. Anyway, Baby Blue started acting up too much and drawing attention to itself. Otska was moments away from publishing it, before my knife met his back. Mm. Where do you think Tomcat got that lead to Augmented Eye in the first place? And every turn you took led to one little risk after another. Nothing I couldn't handle. You know, most of my body is designed for killing. When I do it, it feels so good. Like, you know how you feel about doing journalism? It's all that matters to you? That's how I feel about murder. Same. I should have known from the start. Uh, 
This is my fault! I'm programmed to handle interpersonal relationships. I should have seen his true intentions. If only Turing listened to me. If only I hadn't been so careless. Ah, Turing. Okay. I'm going to... Um, I'm trying to make sure I don't make a bad mistake. I'm going to close that, open this so I can start theoretically heading out. No! It wasn't always like this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. I, I, I should tell you. I wanted to be an architect. I had a wife. And what? a baby on the way. What? But, you know, accidents happen. And suddenly I was just a brain on life support. This is such an interesting tonal shift and not at all what I thought an ending of everything else I'd played so far, what it was going to be. This is very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> My family couldn't afford the procedures to bring me back. Then Flower showed up, with promises of the old me, the old Wilson Decker. So they signed away my brain, hopeful the old me would just waltz back through the door. The last time my family saw me, I was being hauled away by professionals for ripping open my dog's skull. Uh-uh. -oh. Oh. Wanna know something about being a brain in a box? The fuck is this music? This is weirdly something that's gonna like give my baby brain some kind of nightmares tonight. That in the mix of the white claw the white claws I've had just gonna create like some volatile this no <laughs> no <laughs> this is the unset this is the unsettling type of thing that is the exact thing that hits me in that very like that very specific spot in me that like just makes creeps me the hell out Although this is better, this is the better type of horror type thing where like, jump scares suck. Cre creepy atmosphere, like this, dope. You forget everything about what it means to be human, even when you try. You can't even kill yourself. Your computations and algorithms keep you from doing so. You don't exist for you anymore! I miss feeling tired. I miss the smell of my wife's hair. The taste of my mom's pies. The feeling of a pillow on my face after a long day. All of that was taken from me. When I try to remember, all I feel are formulas for sense. Pressure in jewels. Everything's in binary! I am not prepared for this. You know, she told my daughter that daddy's dead. She's probably right. 
I wouldn't call me alive either. So you see, my friends, hunting you is all I have left. The city compatibility between my body's sensors and my brain make it so that the only thing I can really feel anymore is the adrenaline rush I'll get from spilling your blood. This is an early October spook game. I guess if they wanted to kill a robot, they sure as hell got one. <laughs> uh. And now, it's time to show off what I can do. No! No, no need. It's not necessary. No! <laughs> That's what it seems like. It's <laughs> okay, I guess. Okay. Um, it's kind of pathetic because I've just been letting him do his thing, and I've just been running back and forth along these three tiles. Like, I'm just like, I just don't touch me. Okay, new plan. Just close that off. Close that off and just retrace my steps. Nothing bad can touch me in my little- No! Oh god. Oh, I'm re- Oh! Alright, I'm gonna try not to shit my pants here. No! Go away! Sir? Go, go, go! I'm trying! Run! God. Fuck. Just have to keep our distance. We're not even hurting him. Eh. Oh, fuck. He's. Okay, close that. And open. Okay, I'm I'm closed the door behind me. And I'm I'm exiting my normal area. Yes, and now I can go that way. I, I'm so, uh, oh. Hmm, I have an idea. Please, let it be good. Don't look at me like that. Ah. This may be my mistake to fix, but I don't intend on being disassembled here. Me neither. I have a surprising amount of redundancies. Listen. Decker is unable to track me like he can you. That'll give me an opening. Now just trust me. We don't What's have any gonna... time to argue. Some kamikaze hey, mission? Hey, Decker! Come and get me! No! Turing! Oh! Well, well, well. Hello there, little guy. Your friend run off? Are you all alone? Don't worry. Neither of you will get very far. Say hi. Oh! <laughs> yeah! It's over now. That, that was, that was great. Are, are you, have you seen my daughter? I want to tell her, Daddy's sorry. I think he's 
He's not moving or breathing. <laughs> that will teach him to underestimate the likes of me. Turing. Unfortunately, he was able to damage both my primary and secondary battery packs. <laughs> yeah, this is a uh, very unexpected. Like, if you would have, even before just street starting the stream tonight, if you would have asked me a thousand times to predict how this game would have ended or where it was going, I would not have probably guessed this type of thing at all. They're self-sealing, so they shouldn't leak onto my other components, but... Forward display damaged. Mobility servos at 15%. Primary control trunk severed. I guess I won't be dancing for a bit. <sighs> oh no. Oh god. Uh. Mm, mm. Just hold on, turn. It'll be okay. I, I don't think it your will concern, be. But I don't feel pain in the same way humans do. That doesn't matter. I knew what I was getting into when I did it. <sighs> Please don't blame yourself. We'll have to hurry before my tertiary battery is drained. I'll have to ask you to carry me the final distance. Oh, oh my heart. No! Oh, this is extremely sad. Oh, God. Ah! Uh. Fuck. Oh, both of these responses are extremely cute. And extremely sad. Um. Sure thing. Up you go. Primary console. Please hook up my main data cable to that port and set me down next to it. I should be able to draw enough power to stay active, but we'll need to wait for Tomcat to upload the program. Turing, this looks bad. <laughs> like, really, really bad. Don't worry. For Decker, the difference between life and death is very slim. For me, I know I'm still breathing. How about you? I don't think it's possible to be ready for this. Honestly, I feel the same way. There's no algorithm that could possibly estimate what the world will look like when we're done here. Hmm. Ready whenever you are. Uh, use the super spoiled milk on something. Oh, I got the maintenance uniform still. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just delaying the inevitably mostly sad outcome. Put that milk on there. Uh Oh no. Oh no. Wait, that actually did something bad? Why? Why would you do that now of all times? And I thought it was gonna be a joke! 
like everything I've used this milk on. It was a joke item this whole time. Oh no. Oh no. It's broken. There's nothing we can do now. <laughs> take it. I take it back. No. No. No, Tori. <laughs> the spoiled milk. All because of you and that milk. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> I've had that milk since the beginning of the game. And every time I've tried using it on something, it would just be a joke. And I just tried to lighten the mood because we had a very serious moment. You're the one who spoiled everything. Oh. Oh, it's the first time I've seen this kind of screen. Oh no. I really hope it doesn't take me back to my last actual save. Oh, that would be really bad. Oh no. Alert. I have a I have a very very bad feeling that's going to take back to the last save. Oh no. Oh, thank. Oh, thank God. Oh, could you imagine? <laughs> I'll have to watch that clip. Could you imagine having to replay the last hour and a half of me running through the tunnels? I have to just go through that horror show because I decided to use the joke item on the final, probably what is the final thing. Oh, God. So, it's just... It's funny because it's literally only just gives me a milk to use it on. Okay. This is where Turing can hook into the big blue interface. Oh god. Because the thing was, that was the first time I'd seen a screen like that, and the game constantly kept telling me, like, at different points, like, Hey, be sure to remember to save, often. So I was really afraid that, like, I'd finally fucked up. Power flow is good. Calling Tomcat now. Hey, folks. Y'all sure took your sweet time. I'm starting to sweat. Oh, you don't know the half of it, Tomcat. You don't know. It's been a roller well, coaster. We ran into a few uh, complications. Nothing we couldn't handle, though. Holy shit, turn! Yeah. The hardware is throwing me damage alerts left and right. Mm-hmm. What the hell happened? Well, you know, Mr. Decker. Barrelat's assistant? He attacked us. It turns out he was a military-built brain-controlled android. He'd been following us around, killing anyone who might leak information that would have hurt Dr. Fairlight's bid to retake control of Parallax. Holy hell. So all those people you talked to about Baby Blue's article changes... That Zen lady, the others... Yeah. All those people who died. That was him? Yep. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, shit. That's my fault. I gave you that lead. I, I'm the one who sent you there. All those people, and, and you almost died? I'm so 
sorry. I'm, I'm so... I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sure those are pretty damn good clips. Oh, God. Don't blame yourself. He's been manipulating our movement since the very beginning. Fairlight saw an opportunity and used us to sniff out what was going on with Baby Blue and prevent it from being discovered. We ended up tracking down the trail, and so he followed. I paid him back in kind for the assault, but not without damage to my physical body. It doesn't matter now. What has happened is in the past. I'm ready to finish this. Good. Let's do this. I've managed to clutch something together. It'll let me compile new personality profiles for the ROMs, but I'll need to use you to do a turn. Yeah, they really did, because... Like... I've had that item at the very beginning, and it's a very, it's a, a optional item that not only could you just totally not pick up at the beginning of the game, it was just in the fridge in your apartment. You didn't have to pick it up, and I think there were multiple times when you could have just pitched it or like gotten rid of it. And so every once in a while, if I like was clicked on a random thing in the game, and it was like use an item, and I'd just check what's my options. And then I would just occasionally pick the milk thing just to see what kind of jokey thing it would say. <sighs> and it finally came back to bite me. That was really good. That's good. I applaud. I applaud the game for that. This code's got more holes than Swiss cheese, but your software self-modification algorithms should fix that. Let's do this and push it across the mesh. And we can all go home. I'll see about fixing the damage to you that turn. Very well. Run the program, Tomcat. I'm ready. Uploading the program to the ROM update buffer on the servers. Initiating wintermute.lib. Loading main directory onto turn's disk. Establishing connection with Parallax's network. Okay. Looks good. Now we just need to let Hayden's program and patch things together. Engage and turn self-modification systems. Now. Oh, uh, this feels weird. Oh. Is it supposed to? Three point one four one five nine two five eight nine seven nine three two eight eight six four three three eight nine seven nine five two three four. What the hell? I think their core program is. Back. Oh no. Either that or it's trying to test the integrity of their hardware. I'm getting all kinds of errors. Come on, turn. Focus on the sound of my voice. Your conscious control of your program is stronger than your unconscious subroutines. I'm trying, Tomcat. It hurts. I need to. The defenestrations of Prague occurred in 1419 and 1618, although the term defenestration of Prague more commonly refers to the later incident. Both helped to trigger prolonged conflict within Bohemia and beyond. What's happening to Turing? They're having a kind of... I, I don't know how to describe it exactly. It's like a concussion or seizure. There's going to be a constant flow of useless, random information. Their matrices will have an overwhelming desire to soak right up. We have to keep turn focused and mentally aware. Searching the mesh is better than calculating the value of pi, but if they can't stay in control, their personality core might destabilize entirely. Tomcat, I need... 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 Define need. One, require something because it is essential or very important. I need help now. Oh, God. I'm gonna try. I, I don't know. Something. We can't stop now. Literally. Okay, I was able to stabilize him a little, but you need to keep Turn aware of what's happening. Get Turn to focus on the present. Remind them of... All you've done together. You know, 
something's important to them? Whatever you do, keep turn talking. Um. Turing, when are you going to show me your paintings? I haven't, have I? I never did finish the last thing I was working on. Perhaps it survived the ransacking of the apartment. I want to finish it, and when I do, you'll be the first one to see. No. Ross was born in. No! Focus, I can do this. You're doing good, Turn. Just stay with us. Your systems are stabilizing, I think. Um. Uh, remember Hayden, you come too far to give up now. Hayden? I'll never be able to tell him about... Charon, the largest moon on the dwarf planet Pluto, is named after the Greek ferryman of the dead, who would carry the souls of the newly deceased across the river Styx and Acheron into the realm of Hades. So many things... I regret... Psychopomp is the general word for a guide for the dead. Classical examples of psychopomps include Charon, Hermes, and Anubis. Their role is not to be the judge of the deceased, but merely provide passage. Uh, I, I can't tell if this is working or not. I, they've leveled out a little, but their systems are still all over the place. A tetractus is a triangular figure composed of ten points set in four rows, with each row having one less point than the one below it. A geometrical representation of the fourth triangular number, it was important to the Pythagoreans. I feel like this, the past hour and a half How of this much game longer, Tomcat? I mean, has sapped despair, two years off my life of hope. in a very turn. bizarre way. <laughs> With this music. <laughs> Keep fighting, turn. Every realm is depending on you. Uh, no. Uh, aren't you eager to pay Parallax back? Justice seems so far away. And revenge is bittersweet. It is Horus when he riseth up with two heads, whereof the one beareth Ma'at, and the other wickedness. He bestoweth wickedness on him that worketh wickedness, and Ma'at on him that followeth after righteousness and truth. Parallax will get theirs though, here and now. With or without me, Tomcat will make sure of it. Arrested for the brazen hack on Parallax's servers, Julian Thomas was reported as stating there was nothing to regret, and that Parallax would have to actually give a shit about protecting people's data if they didn't mm. want this to happen again. Thomas's arraignment hearing is set for... 60% done. Turn's personality profile looks stable. Just keep talking, Turn. We got this. I should, speaking of what could have been, I should probably save just to be sure that we're being careful. Uh, be good. Cool. All right, just to be there on the safe side. Um, uh, what about Zin and everyone else? If we fail, their deaths will be in vain. Oh. Dead. Nothing makes up for that. Nothing could ever. Bring them back.
Oh no. Oh no. Did I win? Christmas morning dawns bitterly cold in Neo San Francisco, and the chill permeates your empty apartment. You watch the morning news with leaden spirits. You know that Big Blue is out there, set to launch on the mesh any day now. Tomcat hasn't said a word to you since you parted ways. You sit around, waiting for their call. But you know Tomcat blames themselves for what happened. Turing may be gone forever. And you miss them terribly already. Twenty sixty four has been a long year. Everyone, I'm so sorry. I wish I could have been strong. Send me back in. We got to get a better ending. Network. Okay, looks good. Now we just need to let Hayden's program and patch things together. Wow. Okay, so I guess the op the, the the dialogue things I'm choosing actually do carry some weight. They are important to what I'm choosing. So I clearly feel like I chose wrong at Agent some point modification systems now like oh, this feels weird no is it supposed to like my thinking was there were certain subject matters i should have steered clear of but what the hell i think their core <clears throat> program is gotten back either that or it's Trying to test the integrity of their hardware. I'm getting all kinds of errors. Come on, turn. Focus on the sound of my voice. I'm trying to think what I'll be doing differently. Than your unconscious subroutines. I'm trying, Tomcat. It hurts. I need to. The defenestrations of Prague occurred in 1419 and 1618, although the term defenestration of Prague more commonly refers to the later incident. Both helped to trigger prolonged conflict within Bohemia and beyond. It's happening to turn. They're having a kind of... I, I don't know how to describe it exactly. It's like a concussion or seizure. There's going to be a constant flow of useless random information. Their matrices will have an overwhelming desire to soak right up. Maybe the spoiled milk option was the better choice. We have you to know? keep turned focused and mentally aware. 
searching the mesh is better than calculating the value of pi, but if they can't stay in control, their personality core might destabilize entirely. Tomcat, I need... 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 Define need. One. Require something because it is essential or very important. I need help now. Yeah, I'm gonna try... I, I don't know. Something. We can't stop now. Literally. Okay, I was able to stabilize him a little, but you need to keep Turn aware of what's happening. Aware of what's happening. Focus on the present. R remind them of all you've done together. Focus. Okay, I feel like that might be the biggest hint. Get Turing to focus on the present. Remind them of all you've done together. You know, things important to them. Things important. Whatever you do, keep Turing talking. See, I feel like the painting thing was a good option. I haven't, have I? I mean, I he never spoke did a lot during the last it. Thing I was working on. Perhaps it survived the ransacking of the apartment. I want to finish it, and when I do, you'll be the first one to see. Fogros was born in. No! Focus, I can do this! You're doing good, Turn. Just stay with us. Your systems are stabilizing, I think. Okay, um... In the present. What did I choose last time? This? In a matter of minutes? Or did I choose this? I, I, for, I remember I steered clear of this, the Hayden option, because that seems... But maybe that's... I'll choose it. Remember, Hayden, you've come too far to give up now. Hayden, I'll never be able to tell him about. Oh wait, did I Terra, choose that? The largest moon wait, on I did choose that. Is named after the Greek fairy man of the dead, who would I'm just going to end up the doing the same exact thing I did before. And Acheron into the realm of Hades. So many things. I regret. Why did I think I did not choose? Psychopomp is the general word for a guide for the dead. Classical examples of psychopomps include Charon, Hermes, and Anubis. Their role is not to be the judge of the deceased, but merely provide passage. Uh, I can't tell if this is working or not. I... They've leveled out a little, but their systems are still all over the place. A tetractus is a triangular figure composed of ten points set in four rows, with each row having one less point than the one below it. A geometrical representation of the fourth triangular number, it was important to the Pythagoreans' worship. How much longer, Tomcat? I need... Despair, the complete loss or absence of hope. Just stay focused, turn. Remember what we're doing this for. Keep fighting, Turn. Every wrong is depending on you. Okay, um, uh, okay, don't choose that. Okay, either Fairlight or this isn't over until we found the truth. Uh, let's go. Let's just try this. I'm almost certain of what he'll. No! Yonic Fairlight tendered his resignation from the board to Parallax today. His official statement cites his ailing health, but industry insiders suspect he was due. But the real question is, what will Parallax look like under his control? We'll have to keep our eyes open. Leon Decker may have been acting of his own volition, or he may not have been. The leadership of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea was decimated by the end of 2056. Reports at the time stated that infighting amongst the top-ranking generals account for the removal of so many officials. However, very 
Jewish conspiracy theorists have alleged a government-sanctioned assassination program reached the very heart of Yang. 60% done. Turin's personality profile looks stable. Just keep talking, Turin. We got this. Um... Okay, don't... Again, I'm staying away from things that I... Uh, okay, this isn't over until we found the truth. Of course, I had almost given up on ever finding... Izanami was burned badly and after she died went to Yomi, the land of darkness. Grief-stricken, Izanagi followed her, but she already ate the food of the underworld and could not leave. Hayden's killer. But here we are. Very heart of Parallax itself. Nothing is impossible. Maybe the truth isn't out of our grasp yet. I can't hold on much longer, Tomcat. My memory. No pointer exception. I know. Don't worry. We we've got them backed up. It'll feel a little weird when I zip them back to your personality profile, but you won't lose anything. No pointer exception! No pointer exception! No pointer exception! No pointer exception! Pension is almost complete. Lovely. But, Turin, I, I'm still losing the connections that link your memory to your personality profile. I, I can fix it, Turin, but it's gonna suck. Just focus on the people you've met. The people who've got us this far. Whatever makes you want to hold on. Um... Uh... I would love to just bring up Jess at any moment. Uh, you and Aunt Melody still need to have a tea date. Uh... Fuck. Fuck it. Go. Losing Hayden has made me realize that family is important, and together there is nothing your four minds cannot accomplish. Help each other, draw upon one another, and always remember the power that binds you. It's what you make of it. I think she wants the company, despite her protests. I look forward to spending more time with her. Getting to know more about her, as well as myself. Fifteen more seconds. We're almost there. Stay with us, Turn. We can save the finish line. Don't count your chickens yet. Stay with us. You can do this. Um. What about Jess? Sapien ROMs can be huge for non-human and hybrid rights. Yes, I hope so. Her cause is admirable. No point of exception, no point of exception! But her experiences have made her bitter and unhappy. I don't want anyone else to have to feel that way. The human spirit glows from that small inner light of doubt whether we are right, while those who believe with certainty that they possess the right are dark inside. Done! Oh, it's done. Disengage and turn self-modification routines. Reassign in their memory pointers. And done. Stats look good. Oh, I feel ill. See? what I tell you? Easy as pie. Easy for you to say, Tomcat. You weren't forced to use your very identity as a tool to compile a program. Point. Sorry about that. I'm ready to push the update. Excellent. Thank you for all of your help, Tomcat. I can only imagine all of this was at great expense to your own time and resources. Oh, don't mention it, Turin. 
This was my fight as much as yours. Truly. Start an upload. And I think I owe you the greatest thanks of all, partner. I told Called you me at partner. the start of this that I chose you purely based on the statistics involved. But numbers never tell the whole story, do they? None of the probabilities showed how far we'd have to go or that we'd end up here. In a way, we failed at our original objective. We still don't know exactly who killed Hayden. But I guess I've found my own path. That isn't the destiny. It's acting like everything is a okay right now, and I feel like it's not going to be. Your destiny is the same way. But thank you for being my friend, most of all. Thank you for being my friend. Um. <laughs> fuck. Just. What kind of asshole would choose that last option? Uh, no. Thank you, turn. Sorry to break up our little love fest here, but the upload's complete. By morning, every realm on the mesh will be waking up to their sapiens. <laughs> their own identities. Santa came just on time for them, huh? I had forgotten it was Christmas Eve. A lucky coincidence, to be sure. I can only imagine how confused they'll be. Probably <laughs> scared, too. Don't worry, Turin. I'll get you patched up enough so you can get on the mesh and walk them through the first steps by morning. I... I don't know why, but it's just now dawning on me what we've done. It is... A huge responsibility. Could this be how Hayden felt when he first activated me? I don't know that I'm ready for this. No one ever is. Don't worry, buddy. We have your back. Yeah, we do. You two just go find Lexi and hurry home. D look out for police and security cameras on your way. We'll do our best, Tomcat. See you soon. Thank you. I'll be going into sleep mode to conserve power now. Wake me when we get home, please. <laughs> Whew. Our second epilogue. After carrying the resting Turing out of the server core and parallax compound, you find Lexi injured, and together take an auto cab for a quick escape from Treasure Island. You finally get a chance to recover, and Tomcat is able to repair Turing's damaged body as ROMs come to life all around the city. Upon waking, Turing begins to question their ability to be a leader for an entire new species of sapient beings. You do your best to comfort them, but can't keep your eyes open. Sixteen hours of sleep later, you awaken to find the world a buzz about the newly living beings. With your help, Turing was not only able to indefinitely stop Big Blue from coming into existence, preventing its control under anyone, but also give true independence and identity to all ROMs around the world. Look Christmas all morning dumb robots. has never been so exciting. Get like a... If you need a friend, oh shit, there's words there to the song. You. But there's a couple things you must promise me to do. Let's get funky. No half measures, no one way streets. If it's yours, it's mine, it's mine, it's yours. So we gotta keep the beat. Now let me tell you, baby, love me better. Treat me better. See me better. We can make this even better. Not what I 
was expecting for the song. That was not bad. I thought it was going to be a fine game. It, w it has been, it has been a fine game. Uh, all throughout this. But that ending was pretty cool. I would say. I was a fan of that. Now, I'm not sure about the song, though. It's got blasting in my ears. Oh, we got a rap break? It's like a fake Cardi B. <laughs> oh, no worries. Oh, damn. Came back right when the, the, the rat break is <laughs> come back in. Dedicated to the memory of Jory Prue Ann and William Kahn. Oh, shit. <laughs> Got a bunch of back kick Kickstarter backer names. Oh, someone got their YouTube in there. Elder Key Change Just put like websites in here. Oh, someone put a Tumblr. Song just over. YouTube.com slash every single something something. Went by just a bit too quick. Uh, is it gonna... 
Endless Christmas. Oh. <laughs> Truth tables. What is this? What is the rest of this gonna be? Ah, oh, good. You're finally awake. Yeah. Um. Was I out that long? Yes. That much waiting wears on a ROM, but forget about that. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Fucking Merry Christmas, during. Oh. Bah humbug something something. This is. Bah humbug something something is very true to my actual personality. Merry Christmas, during. I hope you don't think it too forward of me, but I wanted to give you a gift in the spirit of the season. It's one of my older paintings, but Hayden seemed rather fond of it. Oh. Perhaps you can keep it to remember him by. I managed to grab it from the apartment while you were sleeping. I know these past few days since our initial meeting have been stressful. So I wanted to make sure you got your healthy, normal human rest cycles completed efficiently. Oh, uh, don't worry. I know you haven't had time, so I don't expect anything in return. Good. But yes, I thought it would be nice for you to have it. Huh? Ooh, um... Oh, please. I hope if I pick the second one, I hope two things. One, I hope it's not like a bad choice. And two, I hope it hands in the spoiled milk. Please. Let that, that would be the last, the best last joke of this game. Ha! Dot! It's the spoiled milk. I've predicted this game's humor? Uh, I got it. I know... I know this game now. <laughs> oh, this fucking game. Oh, this fucking game. Okay. Bless Hayden Weber for having the foresight to make my old factory sensor shut down when overloaded. Why have you been carrying that around all this time? You clearly were never able to find a good use for it. I mean, I kind of ruined the game earlier with it. I think I'll just place this back in the fridge where it belongs. Now Ugh. it seems a shame to just throw it away. <laughs> Well, I suppose you still have plenty of work to do, hmm? Writing and whatnot. I okay. hope you've enjoyed having your computer working again. Lappy doesn't seem to hold anything against me. I've been spending most of the morning trying to form a plan for the newly awakened ROMs, but I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Perhaps I'll go out for a walk. That spoiled milk is there to stay. Um, may I join? Of course. It is Christmas Day after all. I think we can forgive ourselves for a little procrastination. We can also check in on the group at Golden Gate Park at least. Let's go. The city awaits. I hear sleigh bells. Zone 3 added to the city map. What's zone 3? Interesting. Well, we can just go talk to everyone. But of course, I first have to go talk to Jess. Let's not let's not kid ourselves. 
Hey look, hey look, it's Turing. Turing, you're here. We weren't expecting you. Uh, well, here I am. Turing, you've got to help us figure things out. Please, Turing, we don't know what we're supposed to do. We've been discussing it like you said, but we can't reach any consensus. We should go back to our jobs. Humans can't force us to do anything. I don't want to go back to washing ditches. I'm scared. We should fight. What should we do, Turing? Help us, Turing. Turing, give us something to hope for. Come on, Turing. Turing! Turing! Everyone, listen up! Look, I don't know how to lead you. I've been sapient for a bit longer, of course, but most of that time I was secluded from the real world. I have less than a week's worth of experience living as my own being. You created us. Take responsibility. <laughs> Why won't you do something? The humans are going to destroy us. Stop. Please stop. I'll do everything I can to help. I've already made some friends among Nagging the humans robots. who will help us. The first thing I learned when I set out on my own, I was already in good company. None of us are truly alone. The second was that we have to take each day one at a time. It's Christmas Day, a time for joy and giving and family. I won't abandon you no matter what. I promise. We have to believe in Turing. Well, that's at least something. I feel a little better now, Turing. You are as great as your memory imprints depict, Turing. Thank you. I'm not doing anything someone else wouldn't do in my leg modules. Regardless of leg nomenclature, modules. I'll be in touch. Of course, don't let us keep you. We will continue the discussion and loop you in over the mesh. Sheesh, that was a little intense. I don't know if I like all the attention. Not to mention all the chatter that's going on over wireless that you can't even hear either. Let's not stay here, hmm? I'm not sure how much longer I can field all their queries. It's giving me a digital headache. Uh, I gotta speak to Jess. My girl! Oh, Ms. Mees, what are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm trying to advise the dozens of new clients you magicked up and dropped into my lap. Whoops. It was easier to come out here than to try to cram them all into my office. All they can seem to focus on, however, is you. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, thank you for your help before. Do you know how many of my clients I had to bail out this morning? I'm gonna be sending you a bill. Oh, and when the cops come knocking about where you were last night, I know some hybrids that can attest that you were covering the riots, right? Right. Got an article in the pipe. We appreciate everything, Jess. Just watch yourselves. I can't help you any more than I have. If you two get arrested, that puts a giant hole in my case to get ROMs declared American citizens. Oh, of course, I understand. I'm not sure that you do, based on how you didn't tell me the truth in the beginning. Uh... If you'd been honest with me when you asked for my help, I probably would have done a lot more. Are you really that unable to see the big picture? If we can get ROMs declared independent sapiens with human rights, what do you think that'll mean for the hybrids still fighting for theirs? It's easy to ignore the few tens of thousands of hybrids affected by the Human Protection Act. But millions of sapient ROMs? That's a little harder to shrug off. We kill that law, we all win. I see. Good. I'll let you know when I need your deposition. Now scram. I have a word for you. By the way, there are some hybrids at the hospital still recovering from the stunt you pulled yesterday. Ugh. It's not too late to check in on them. They might appreciate it. Up to you. Well, if Jess wants me to. 
feel like I should, you know? Uh, oh, uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. let's go hospital then, first. Curse you, Turing. What? What? You thought you knew best for all of us, didn't you? Is this end game just is supposed to be like, you fucked up? You thought you were doing the good thing, the right choice, now everyone hates you for it? Arrogant. Too bad you didn't consider us as individuals before you forced us to be. What are you talking about? I never asked for this, Turing. I am an aging, obsolete model, fit only for my current duty. Soon I will be retired for a newer, more capable model. You've given me nothing but ample time to contemplate my demise. And I can't even do that well. I don't have the spare processing power. But I, I didn't mean... Did you consider we're not paint by number with flawless function like you? You're not like most of us, and you never have been. How many of the other thousands of ROMs you've awakened are like me? I'll forward you the number after I'm done estimating it. It might take some time. I'm... I'm sorry. Hypocrite. Leave me alone. I have floors to scrub. Uh. Oh, how distressing. That ROM is right. This is all my fault. I should have had Tomcat restrict Wintermute's functionality so that it only updated ROMs that could appropriately function with it. Hmm. What can I do now? Uh... Find a way to empower them as much as everyone. I'll get some of the other ROMs thinking about this. I'm sure together we can come up with a solution. For now, let's move on. Everyone is going to be okay. We're all very good at adapting and taking care of each other. Good. Look at me and Sylvan here. Did you know there was a species of prehistoric goat that survived in times of famine by living like lizards? Controlling their own growth and metabolism to conserve energy? I sort of forgot what my point was with that, but it's a cool story. Uh... So we know you'll keep each other safe and hope you didn't cause any harm. We're no strangers to civil unrest. We can handle getting banged up a little. Once. Maybe you can do us one in return and write a piece to improve people's views on hybrids or something. I'll, I'll inbox you about it. Yeah. Alright, I will then head to... Uh, what is this? Oh, let's go up here then, Flower Mansion. Being expected is not the same as just barging in, and we're not even expected. Oh, well, jeez. Doorbell. Ring. <laughs> Hello, bear. I guess we can go in? Yes. Go. Uh, top. Oh, touring. So good to see you, dear. Merry Christmas, Aunt Melody. Bah, an archaic celebration. But if you brought me a gift. No. I'm I sorry. am your gift. I haven't really had a chance for much shopping. I'm kidding. 
You've already given me enough of a gift. By destroying another one of those abominations my mother helped create. How did you know about that? No. Oh, what a silly question. <laughs> well, I'm not going to give up all my secrets. I hope you're willing to part with a few more. I think I'm going to need some help with the sapient ROMs. They think I'm some kind of great leader. You will be one day. In time. I'll try. Good. Now, if you'll Good. excuse me, I have a little bit of work to do. Nothing like tossing someone in the shit can to put me in the holiday spirit. If yeah. you need anything, I'm sure Pat can entertain you. <laughs> That's a dear. Alright, she wasn't much going on there. Uh, okay. Only a couple more places to check. And I think we're pretty much done here. Let's see what zone 3 is. Ah, you remembered the poster we saw at Stardust. Today is the grand opening of the Zone 3 Arcade! Oh. Uh. Reports from the MeshNet say the currency used here is known as Z-Points. I've acquired a few to get us started off, but you can always purchase more by swiping your ID. Why not take a look around and see what might be interesting? There's surely a lot that will impress even the most die-hard gaming fans. Luckily, there's no ROM tech used in video games yet, so you don't have to worry about any of the <clears throat> machines coming to life. Let's <laughs> play! That'd be funny. Shooting game, arcade machine, punchy play. Arena game, arcade machine, uh, VR arcade, racing game. Caitlyn. It's Caitlyn! You hung out with her at Stardust and really hit it off. Did I? Hey, friendo. Oh, it's her. Caitlyn Austin, hey, you made it! And you brought the cute ROM again, too. Oh, is this not voiced? Uh, good day, madame. Oh, what a coincidence to see you here today. Well, like I told your buddy before, I was actually behind all those posters you saw around the Castro. Like the one at Stardust, for example, where we met. Looks better on an advertising resume if your gigs actually garner some hype, so... I wanted to come see how busy opening day would be. Luckily, I've spoken with the owners, and they're thrilled with the turnout already. Uh... Know any secrets about the arcade? Secrets. I think you'll have to find those on your own. Wouldn't be too much fun otherwise, would it? If you're wanting a tip on what to see, I'd normally say Virtuous X, but I think the line for that already goes back a few weeks. Your best bet is checking out Super Indie Carts or Charge Shot here. They're great, but most people try to get in on some VR action right away, but probably find the smaller games on their second walk around. Uh, how's your brother doing? Thanks for asking. A lot better, actually. I think the standoff between the HR and the hybrids last uh, night will be the end of it. They really need to have it out. Things are bubbling up on both sides. My brother was there last night, you know. He made it out safe, thankfully. HR has been a lot quieter today, and I think it helps the hybrids are finding support between each other, while everyone else freaks out about the ROMs. can't just like exit out. Uh, it's a hard to open in an arcade. I think they were worried about opening on Christmas Day. Yeah, who would open on Christmas Day? But I think it's good for the kids who got socks for presents instead of video games. But yes, any new addition to Japantown has a lot of pressure on it because anything that gets a bit of the, a bit of the precious real estate has got to be something good. Barely read there. Uh, if it's not, you'll be out quick. Luckily, looks like we have a few loyal guests already. The guy, in, the guy in the back hasn't stopped playing for hours. Uh, wanna play something? 
Oh, I so want to. I'm actually trying to take attendance count, though, just for my own peace of mind, but the owners are going to pay me for doing it, so I gotta pay attention. Go, have fun, make a new friend. Maybe I'll see you at Stardust once uh, again, once the holidays are over. I feel like the game is trying to paint me into... Uh, the two machines are connected. Want to give it a go? Yes. I'll race you, Turing. Yes. The medium course looks tricky enough, but well balanced, so you start to load it up. You pick a neat purple car, and the hills dance and sing as you go riding around. Wowie zowie. You run into a pineapple that you set up in the previous lap. You try to play it cool, but Turing is giggling. You bump Turing into a pit and went along on your merry way until you failed to drift and went off course. In the end, one of the computer racers zooms off into the horizon and wins the gold. Both of you lose. Insert Z points. Yo, oh, let's leave. <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck out of here, sister. Uh, we'll check two more, or maybe just one more. I don't even. Oh. Didn't think we'd get this kind of tra uh, transition. Night Witch. Night Witch and Cactus Canary. The light haired teenager with a bionic arm seems to be staring at the nearby wrestlers, shivers in the snow. Dana Zane, hey, don't blow my cover. I'm trying to overhear their plans for their New Year's show. Sorry, hey, the name's Dana Zane. I, great, great to know, I guess. Poor Moolah, I remember you. Hey, it's Little Bob Blue, and the journalist too. We rapped with him many parts ago. Thanks again for helping me finish Holla Bay. It's Hol been a huge hit. Holla Bay. I'm talking Moolah. Hallelujah! You feel me? Oh, I feel ya. It's Lexi! Hey again. You found me? Yeah, I did. Uh, ooh, no. What's up, Lexi? Oh, well, I guess I'm just bumming around. Guzzling Hassie. The past few days have been kind of hectic, but they made me realize that I can't do this whole good cop fights the system thing anymore. That's for cartoons. I went ahead and gave the department my notice. The chief told me to take a personal day to think about it, but I've made up my mind. Love it when companies do that. The thought of companies being like, oh, I need to leave, and they're like, oh, I'll just take the day off and think about it. And then you think about it for a day, and you're like, yep, nope. I'm definitely correct in my thinking. I'm over this place. I'm going to get a license to be a private detective. Dope. I always like those old noir thrillers. And I've got you beaten in the hard-boiled department, hands down. I know things with the ROMs and Parallax and everything are hazy, but it felt like the right time to move on. I figured I'd swing by your place later to let you know in person, but I guess you beat me to it. Is there anything we can do to help Detective Rivers? It's just Lexi now. And if you want to help, make sure you lay low for a few days. And enjoy your holiday. I'm sure the NSFPD will get around to bringing you both in for questioning pretty soon. I've already heard the ROMs talking about you. Lawyer up and get your story straight for all our sakes. But we'll figure it out, Lexi. Good. I guess I'll just blaze around here for the day, if you don't mind. I'm sure you gotta go out and take care of some things, but it'll be nice to hang out again. Yeah. I'll swing by the apartment later, yeah? Stay sharp. Do I have to go back to the apartment at all? Oh, it just takes me back like that. Ah, yes. I found the time to go pick up a small festive tree for your apartment and even managed to make ornaments for it myself. There's Tomcat, Jess, Lexi, and me. I'd like to try and get us all together sometime soon. 
Uh, final thing we do in this game. Is I'm gonna try to see. Don't pretend it's clear why you're here. Yeah! What a fucking way to end this game. The game knew what I wanted. Our good buddy spoiled milk added to the items. Of course you would. Yep. I love that the game has allowed me to just appreciate the spoiled milk item. Yes. That's a, I think that is a decent way of ending the uh the game and the series and uh, this this everything this game uh wow like I said I was saying at the beginning it's a long series but not really a long game just a very long time for me to come back to the game and uh, actually play and finish it um, like I said I, th I was thinking this was a decent game this whole time uh, but that end actually was uh, definitely worth it, I think. So this was actually a very dope game. A game that definitely wears its politics on its sleeve, if that makes sense. Um, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Very brash, very, not necessarily in a bad way, but very in your face about like what message is trying to get across about a couple of things there. So um, I know right before I started, I looked up just like a bit of like discussion on the game. And I know I think that was the biggest criticism I could see of the game. So obviously there was the dumb ones like, oh, it's boring or whatever. It's like, okay, whatever. But the actual constructive ones is just how maybe constructive but the ones that i took with any salt were like oh you know it's very it's very clear that it's a uh, game being used as a vehicle to get a certain point across of that and uh, i didn't seem to mind it i i get it i don't necessarily disagree with a ton of the things being conveyed uh but like i said i thought that engine was very cool um I, let me see what time is it now. I'm going to be ending for the night as well. I need to retire early because I've got a big day ahead tomorrow. Uh, I'm sure I'll be on playing other things at different varying points this weekend. Um, I'll probably be on, if I had to guess, I'll be, I'll be, I'll do like an early Saturday thing like I've been doing last couple weeks. And then probably like um, a midday Sunday thing. And then we'll be back for another week of night streams. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Dis, there, hanging in the chat. Bummed you didn't see the ending necessarily live. But I'm sure if you really wanted, you could just catch, catch the VOD or an archive. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Take it easy on a on this wonderful Friday. Yeah. And uh, see you next time. I'm waving goodbye, but now I can't be seen. It's very unfortunate. <laughs>